have I done for Timson Engineering today? Can you talk us through your relationship with the guys here? Yes, uh, so thank you for joining us down at Simpson Son. Uh, so the relationship with myself and Trevor goes back a number of years uh, in past lives for, for both of us. And then obviously he's got Chris here with him today uh, who also helps him out on his uh, machining. Now, we've already spoken to Chris and we all know DMG Mario have such a vast range of machines. And this wasn't actually the machine Chris was looking at to start with. So can you talk us to the decision and how you helped him decide on this machine over what he was looking at before. Yeah, so uh, as those of us, uh, those of you who know who DMG Mori are, you, you go on our website and it can be quite daunting. You know, we've got hundreds of five axis options. So really in our world, you have to use the consultative approach. So it's asking lots of questions. It's seeing what the customer's goals are, where they want to end up and what would be deemed a success for them. And then in turn, I will then go through our product range and come up with some options that align the DMG Mori product with the customer's goals. Now, there'll be a lot of people out there who know you. There'll be a lot of people that don't know you. Can you just give us a, a quick introduction into yourself and your background? Because you aren't just a salesman. You've been there. You've done it. You know what that customer's looking for. Yes. Yeah, so um, obviously I did a, a four-year advanced apprenticeship where I came out with a HNC in the end. Um, I then did a couple of years tool making, so I was on the handles using various different types of machines, both CNC and manual. Uh, from there, then went to into a production engineering role where I was programming the CNC machines and obviously in charge of the tooling and the budgets. Um, and then I was in that role for a few years before I started actually seeing people like myself and having uh, having conversations. They were coming in to assist me with my decision making. And um, yeah, one morning I woke up and I thought, That's, I, I want to have a go. And um, 10 years down the line and, and I haven't looked back. But I think that's great that you've got that background and that experience. And you know what the customer's going through trying to pick a new machine yourself. So you, you can be in their shoes. Now, we're stood in front of the DMU 75. What can you tell me about this machine? Because it is quite a big machine. Well, so this machine is uh, it's actually the Gen 1 machine. So we're now on to the, the Gen 2, where um, there have obviously been some improvements. So this particular machine obviously comes with 60 tools as standard. You can have options up to 240 tools. So the 60 tools is a chain type. And as you go up through the numbers, you then move into a wheel type. Uh, this, also, this machine also comes with uh, the Siemens control or the Heiden Heiden as well. Um, so it's quite a big machine, but one of the things... I know it's from this, is the A-frame. You've given the customer great access because it's a big machine. They're going, to, they're going to be doing big parts on here as well as small parts because you can do anything. Now, also bolted onto the side of the machine is the PH150 automation system. What does that give a customer? That gives a customer many different things. Obviously, you've got the, the lights out and man running, which people are obviously looking at more and more into now with uh, the skills gap uh, but it also gives you the ability to have multiple setups you know you the idea is you can leave a fixture set so if a uh, a repeat order of whatever batch size comes through then everything's already set ready to go you know you, you've minimized your setup times and you can literally it's it's almost like having a vending machine on your shop floor it's, it's probably the best example it's push a button and you go so that must make this machine quite versatile in the different industries and the different types of work you can do on it. Yes, it certainly is. I mean, as you know, you, you've seen some of the five-axis machines we've got in our range. Um, and this machine is definitely the best all-rounder we've got. We've got, more, we've got other five-axis machines that are specific to certain industries. But the monoblock in itself, not just the 75, the 95, the 105, this is the best all-round five-axis machine that I believe you can find on the market. There's also things in the control to help the customer be as productive as they can be. Normally, you would be there changing feed rate. If you get a bit of vibration, you'd be, you'd be messing with the machine constantly. This does it all for you. It, it does. And, and there are a number of different cycles available to you through the control system, whether that be Siemens or Heidenheim such as we've got application tuning cycle, we've got uh, MPC, which is machine protection control, which uh, basically 
uses the sensors within the machine to understand whether there's going to be a potential collision. It looks for spikes. And ultimately, all you're going to end up doing is breaking a tool rather than having to replace a spindle. But again, that's you looking out for your customers because, as we've mentioned, there is a skill shortage. But with a machine like this, you don't need a fully qualified, fully trained machinist because there is some safety features to help them upskill, but also allow an apprentice to run it if needed with the right amount of training. Yeah, definitely. I mean, even in the control, you can set different, um, what, what would we want to call it, different hierarchy levels. So with using the key cards in the control. So for example, if you had a semi-skilled guy, you could give him his own key card that he, he puts into the control and that will only give him access or the ability to either press go and press stop or only adjust, you know, the rapids. Uh, so you can, you can give permissions depending upon the skill level of the guy that you've got on the shop floor. So Nathan, if there's anybody at home who's watched this and would like to know more information on this machine or any machine in your range, what's the easiest way to get in contact with you? So just go on the internet, um, put in the DMG Mori website, fill out the short contact form and obviously provide your contact details and, and one of us will be in touch.